Right then, good morning. My name's Jason. Hi, good morning everybody. I'm Steve. And uh, we are the High Women, and today we are going to be reacting to a very short highlights clip of American football. But first, we want to say thank you to our 34 subscribers. We did have 35 yesterday, but we seem to have lost one overnight. <laughs> We've offended somebody, clearly. Not that it's our intention. Then we're doing our job right. Yeah, right? it's not our intention to offend people, but you know, we say what we say, what we mean, and we mean what we say. So, uh, salavi. That's the point. So today we're That's gonna point. we're gonna be looking at some um, American football. Now we've heard we've all heard of the NFL. This is a little bit different. This is the LFL, which is the League of Football Legends. Ever heard of that, Steve? Never until just now. Have you ever watched much American football? I tried, and I I sort of I ranked it right up there with Love Island. I'm afraid. Oh, okay. To say. You, you've not, you, you, as I said before, Steve doesn't get out much. He doesn't. He doesn't know much of what's going on in the world. He, he, he lives in Lincolnshire, which practically should be another country, shouldn't it? <laughs> well, it is another country, isn't it? In all honesty, yes. I, I think if if if, um, if England had rednecks, Lincolnshire would be the place you would say they were from. I think. <laughs> you think that's a fair crack? No, I don't. I'm not going to say. I am going to defend Lincolnshire to the hilt. I think it's. Frankly. I think it's the. It's the. Uh, it's uh, the uh, Alabama of the UK. And all of all, all of you Chizits and that sort of stuff that, that that you all guys all flock here every weekend and 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 that's come true. And want to spend that is your money here, So well, I've never been to Alabama, so I just want to apologise if anyone's from Alabama and they're offended by that comment. But you know, it's kind of the impression that I get that Alabama's a little bit redneck. But we do have, we do obviously have big links with America here. Because I don't know if you've seen our latest sign at Skegness. No. Welcome to Skeg Vegas. It's Skeg exactly Vegas. the same as the one in Nevada. Exactly. Almost, uh, it's almost identical, actually, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, other than it says not in Nevada. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's nothing like Las Vegas at all. Um, so, yes. So, shall, shall we begin? Shall we begin? Let's do this. Right, okay. Educate me, no, Jay, educate me. I'm, I'm apologising if anyone saw the Two Factor Work video. There was a little bit of lag on there. So I've done a bit of research and hopefully this video will work better because I'm recording it slightly different. So let's go. Can you see that? Yes, is that a lady? That is a lady. Okay. Not that I've checked down below, but you know, you never know these days. Right, okay, we go. <laughs> Now, I first saw this in 2000, in 2010. I was in Mexico, and there was a big screen playing, and I was also thinking, where the hell has this sport been, and why have I never seen it before? And um, it, was a, it was originally, um, it was kind of an exhibition match during half-time, at one, I think it was the, the, the big Super Bowl game. Uh, Super All Bowl, right. Was that American football? Forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, and uh, it was done as an exhibition match, but obviously it was very popular. So they started the league, and the legend, originally it was called the Lingerie League, the LFL, Lingerie Football League, um, and soon got changed to the Legends Football League. And, okay. And I saw it, and I thought, well, this is obviously just for blokes to kind of get a little bit of a kick out. You know, they've got these attractive models running around in, in the bikinis. But actually, as you can see from the video, this, you know, this, isn't, this is hard sport. I mean, these girls play hard. You know, fair play to them. So in England we have streakers, they obviously have a cow, a man dressed as of a course. cow running, running across, you know. Yeah. Don't do things do. we don't do things by halves, do we? <laughs> Has a 
has a bruise. Have you noticed? Not one of them has a well, bruise. Bruises so do that, they do take time to come out, usually. Well, no, 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 no. So, so if these guys, the way that they're playing... Well, hang on, just let me stop you there, because this is a mixed video. This isn't like one game of things. This is a lot of, a lot of things going on all over the place, so... All right. You know. All right. Give them a chance. There we go. I probably should have found one with a bit more football in it rather than just like a Jerry Springer. It was like an episode. You know what they were doing? Playing football? I there, didn't notice. There was a little bit of football in there. There's a lot of arguing in there. A lot of Jerry Springer going on. But um, yes. what was your opinion of that? Okay, well, so, so first of all, immediately, my thoughts of American football went from there to clearly right up there. Yes. So that was the first thing. So it's better than Love uh, Island then, clearly. Pardon? Better than Love Island. Oh yeah. For, yeah, for those yeah. for those that, for those that don't know what Love Island is, um, it's a uh, reality show here where all the young, attractive people go into a house together and basically couple up. Going back to your football thing just now, but the, you know my analytical head. Yeah. There's some stuff there, Jay, that it just are very entertaining. Yes. And they were playing full on. There's no two they ways were. about that. Yeah. They, they were absolutely going for it. So if they were playing like that. That tells me that these people play football a lot, or they're wrestlers, or they're whatever they yeah. are, okay? But the weird thing is, there wasn't a single bruise on any of them. Everyone had immaculate teeth. All their hair was beautiful and long. Now, you're going to want to at least rehearse, aren't you? Say rehearse. You're going to have to have a couple of trial games and bits and pieces, especially if you're in the middle of the Super Bowl. You know, you're not going to get, um, I, I don't know, um, famous American singer. Just uh, you've been invited to sing the national anthem halfway through. Happy days. He's just going to rock up, do it, and walk out. No, they're going to rehearse, aren't they? Well, they're going to do exactly the same thing. Where was all the bruises? Something's not right, Jay. Something's not right. Yeah, I think you're being overly analytical, Burden. Overly analytical. But I mean, um, English women's soccer is doing very well now. Do you watch football at all? Are you a football fan? No. See, we're no. not soccer. We're not English football fans, neither of us. But I know English women's football is doing exceptionally well at the moment, and it's yeah. really gaining momentum as a as a as a sport. I think people saw it as a bit sacrilegious at one point, didn't they? Because you know, football is religion over here. And women's football, I think, at first was viewed not very well. But I think from what I hear talking to people is, is they play so very well over here. Uh, as a team. As, yeah. The and, and they're doing, they, they, and they're they, doing, and England, English, the English team's doing well, which obviously means people, more people get behind them. But can you imagine 
if we said, okay, we're going to have women's English football, but you're going to have to run around in a bikini. Yeah, I'm all for it. But, but it would never. I, I think it should be introduced. It wouldn't have flew over here, would it? it would never have flew over no. here. You know, it does. It does. It, it never fails to amaze me how some things translate really well over into this country and yeah. vice versa yeah. in America. And other things just don't. No. It, you know, it, it just doesn't happen at all. But the ladies football, they do it brilliantly. And and um, I'm not into football, as you know. But anything that's a bit of a success story, I like to get behind and see what's happening. Yeah. And what I love is what spawned off the back of that. All the, the young girls are now taking up football and yes. it's encouraging this this to go on. Yeah. And I think that's that's absolutely fantastic. Because um, I, I know I, when, I work, when I was at school, we used to do uh, eight weeks of each sport. So we do football and we do rugby and then we do yeah. cross country and then they do all this sort of thing. But the girls never did football, did they, when we were at school? No. It was never no, a thing. The all. girls always did like hockey, didn't they? Netball. That's right. Uh, and you yeah, know, they, and they, were, they were girls sports, uh, and they right. weren't allowed to do the boy sports. Um, no. Whereas, like you say, now it's kind of a little bit more open. Um, oh, where absolutely. People can have a go at anything, and, and, and we're happy to let them try. And, and to be fair, like you say, the women's again, from what I've heard from other people, I've not really watched it, but you know, um, if the girls get tackled hard, they just get up and get on with it. Whereas the boys do this whole kind of like, you know, oh, I'm really badly injured, you know, give me a free kick shenanigans, where the girls just get on with it a bit more. So, what well, I understand. Off to a slight tangent on that, uh, you know, when I when I used to have the bike shops, um, we, we, we would do uh, CBT training. Yes. And in the bad weather, so it, it was it was booked up for, oh my gosh, months in advance, quite frankly. So, so sometimes someone would be booking in sort of September for a December test. And, of course, when the weather was bad, you could guarantee none of the lads would turn up. Yeah. And every time the girls did, yeah. without fail, yeah. absolutely without without fail. Uh, they're, they're made of stronger stuff than us, mate, I'll tell you. Yeah, definitely. But going back to the, to the, the sport then, I mean, again, going back to the, the whole uniform, I mean, I was looking at that about what people thought of the uniform, and there has been discussion of it, but most of the girls kind of say, we're just happy that we're able to play. You know, we don't really care what we're wearing. We're just happy to, to wear to wear what we want. But then again, America is very different in the way they can get away with stuff like that. Have you, do you know the, the restaurant Hooters? Have you heard of Hooters? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know we've yeah. got one in Nottingham, don't you? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. there's one. In, I have been. I have been. Of, of course. course, you have. Um, yeah. But um, again, that that sort of concept would never have. Flew over here. I mean, we've got, we've obviously got one, but if someone would have come up with that idea, generally speaking, I think, um, you know, a, a restaurant where the girls have to wear the skimpiest of clothes to work there, and clearly, it's it must be sexist because you can't have boys work at Hooters, can you? You know, how does that work? You know, you can only hire female mm. females, but again, 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 I suppose if you go to a lap dancing club, you can only hire females. So, yeah, um, how, how does that work? The whole sex well, I suppose I suppose it's, it's catering for our clientele, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, I suppose there's certain, there are certain things that you, I mean. I suppose if you're doing, I don't know, I'm trying to think now, all the sports that you might. If you're a bra fitter, I guess you'd have to uh, apply. You'd have to advertise for for women. But then saying that, if you look on the makeup counters now, we get a lot more boys doing that, don't we? Yeah, that's true. Now we we, 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 we don't, yeah, we're going off. The, we're going off. A, we're going off the subject now, but um, I've, I've watched American football before, and I've, I've really not got into it. I find it too stoppy starter. I mean, it literally mm. the ball's in play for like ten seconds, and then it stops, then it's in ten play, ten yeah. minutes, and it's very stoppy and starter. Obviously, when you're watching a little bit of highlights like that, there seems to be a little bit more going on. But um, I think fair play to the, the, the players. I, I say I think that they play they play proper football from what I understand, from what I can see, and there's no kind of um, you know, don't tackle me and break my fingernails, is there? There's none of that going on. Sure, certainly not from that clip. No. And, and all the, all the other things, that I, all the other bits I saw on it, um, I, I thought that, uh, you know, that they were playing proper, proper football. It wasn't just there to kind of titivate. Well, the reason I questioned it um, is because I, I work with a young lady who plays uh, rugby? Yeah, and she uh, and she's blooming good at it. Quite, yeah. quite frankly, she she represents Lincoln, uh, and and they they are doing so so well. But she is permanently covered in bruises. Yeah, permanently. You know, and she's a real girly girl. Yeah, you know, she she would be quite at home 
you know, on, on that clip there. So, but she is, she's always black and blue. Yeah. And it's not dissimilar contact wise to what we just watched but there. They, but obviously they have a lot more padding than the rugby players, than English rugby players. On their shoulders, I noticed. But, 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 but the other thing I thought is about the sliding tackles, you know, wearing that kind of bikini, you know, going across that grass. I mean, you know what it's like on a bloody motorbike. If you, you know, if you're yeah. at 30 miles an hour, okay, they're not quite at yeah. 30 miles an hour, but you won't want to be running around in a bikini doing a slide, would you really? Especially if it was AstroTurf. Yeah, Ooh. I imagine that's going to burn, isn't it? Oh, you don't want any of that, do no. you? Well, maybe at half time they're on there putting the uh, bruise makeup on, who knows, you know, because obviously... That might be a case, that might be it. You know how in English soccer... You get the guy run on with a magic sponge yeah. when someone's been injured. Maybe then with that, you get the emergency makeup party to run in. Bit yeah. of yeah. rouge. Exactly. Bit of rouge. The concealer. Oh, yeah. get that on there yeah. right now. Yeah, absolutely. I can, yeah. Forget, I can get back out just, there. Just cover it up. <laughs> just cover. Well, to be honest with you, again, it obviously clearly is there for the, um, partially there for the uh, enjoyment of the female form isn't there maybe there is maybe there is that maybe there is someone there maybe not <laughs> one, you know, if you get a black eye well, again they've got the helmets on but if you get a black eye you can't play this week because you don't you know look the pot a bit like kfc yeah. take a bit like taking the chickens out they've got a bit of blood here. that might be it jay you know. that might be it maybe each team instead of consisting of 11 players consists of 44 players yeah they just rotate so, them around yeah that's yeah. like crop rotation yeah right no yeah that's it. Yeah, you got, you're all a bit. You got a bruise, yeah. Out, love. Off, off, yeah. Off you go. That like, could be it. Could be what it is, mate. Could be what it is. Because the um, is it, is it? Well, they, they have the cheerleaders as well, don't they? they? Do yes. And I wonder. So do they have boy cheerleaders? They do. They do. They no. do now have boy. What did I say on something? Something about somebody with a boy cheerleader in the in the. Of course uh, they do. I know she did the jazz hands there. Of course they do. Yeah. In the uh, in the in the crop top. I don't think I could quite pull that off these days. Maybe twenty years. Could, mate. Maybe twenty years It'd ago, be, I might not. I don't think I could now. You'd be fine. Absolutely fine. You'd be fine. So, so there we go. That, that's another tempt, isn't it, for our subscribers? What's that? So if we if we hit X amount of subscribers, yeah. we'll, we'll do it in uh, in crop top. Well, hang on. You've already said we're going to do it naked when we get to a hundred. Yeah, well, trust me, once they've seen us naked, they're going to rush to subscribe so they don't ever have to say, at least get some clothes on. <laughs> the thing is, all very well doing a crop top, but no one's going to see below the waist anyway. You know, for all they know, we, we, we weren't wearing, we're not wearing trousers. Which, as, as of now. Which, in fact, happened the other week, didn't it? Yes. Because we were doing one of these, and I wasn't wearing trousers, and the doorbell rang. And I had to pause. And got caught I, I had to pause it, and I got caught, didn't I? So yeah. yes. So there you go. So what do we think then? American football, the lingerie league, worth a bit more of a watch. Uh, well, to me, I'd I'd take that every time as opposed to the normal. Yeah, one. we'll give it a double thumbs up. Well done. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right. We'll leave that one there then. Go. Okay, just what we do. Yeah. Am I to assume as well? Clearly, there was at least two teams there because they were playing. Is, is this like, a, is it a national thing? Are there teams in every city? Or? I think it's very much along the lines of the normal American football. That that was a mix of various teams there. That wasn't just two teams. So I, I, I assume it's a national league, very much like wow. the, the rest of American football. So, um, yeah, there is actually, there's quite a few different teams. I did see them uh, coming up as I was doing the researching. But I, I just thought we, we probably wouldn't have too much to say why it was on. So I've just found a short highlight clip just to kind of give us a bit of a, inkling of what it was really and educate you on all you know all these things that you know you're finding out about so yeah well i've been educated and i thank you for you're it you're very welcome sir very welcome until next time goodbye been a pleasure see you later everybody